Hey guys, Scott Bonovich here at Mortgage Nerds. And Jake Knipple. All right, Jake, what are we gonna talk about today? Let's go. A little over. bit of refis, right? Yep. Yeah, I mean, like we're knee deep into the purchase market, um, but last year was a big. There was a boom of, of refinances based on interest rates, and and I think um, initially it was like just gotta get in, gotta get in, let's do this. Yes. Yeah, and I think you know, like there was just a lot of hype about it because yeah. rates were at like historic, historic lows, mm -hmm. and I think some of that hype and a little bit of that momentum yeah. slow down as we saw rates go up a little bit. But like the rates right now are, are phenomenal, like ridiculous. Yeah. They're still at almost they're near they're in the twos, you know, upper, you know, threes, depending on yeah, you know. everyone's situation is a little bit unique. So, and that's really what we do. We look at your unique situation. Mortgages are complex, get you in the right loan program. Maybe you're in a conventional at, you know, high threes and we can get you down into the high twos, low threes, you know, and it saves you money on month over month. And what prompted this this topic right here is just my conversation with you a couple of days ago when you were talking about a refinance, cash out refinance that you're yep. doing and the amount of debt that they're paying off, that their actual interest rate isn't even really going down. As a matter of fact, is it like, it's not even going down by a, a whole lot just because it's a cash out refinance. You get some hits on it, but that's on the back end, but their overall monthly savings it was like what sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars. Yes, yeah, it was like ridiculous. So, and I was like, man, like that person, that individual, had no idea that the sitting equity that they currently have mm -hmm. in their house, you know, until they sat down, went over it with you, and then you looked at it and said, well, geez, you know, let's look at this, this, yeah. this, this, pay these things off, and their payment, like, virtually. This, it's actually went down from what their current payment is, and now they're paying, you know, saving sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars. So, it really puts them in a better financial situation, and that's really what we can look at with the market being what it is right now. Home values have definitely gone up, right? Just oh, because okay. purchase prices have been skyrocketed, the market's tough. But that also creates equity for those of you that want to pull cash out and maybe pay off some debt, or maybe do that home remodeling that you know you want to do the bathroom on, or whatever it may be. Um, we could really put you in a better, better financial situation. Yeah. And some people look at it and they're like, you know, they're all, you know, they're heck bent out of yeah. uh, paying off their, their current mortgage. But the reality is your mortgage is an asset. It's probably your only asset. So when we look at a credit port, typically we're looking at, we see credit cards on there. We see boat loans, vehicle loans. We see mm -hmm. student loans. Did I, did I name anything that was an asset? Not one thing on there that, that I named as an asset. They're all liabilities. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in many cases, depreciating liabilities. So right. vehicles and those sort of things. So the, re the reality is it's, and we preach about it all the time, it's leveraging the equity in your home to create wealth. Yep. And in this case, it's actually, you know, whether it's not necessarily creating wealth, you're actually, in, in essence, you kind of are, you're, you're freeing up the amount of money that goes in, it flows in and out of your household yep. by paying off some of that negative debt. Yeah, um, on a month to month basis. And yeah. tying it into your mortgage at a near historic, yep. you know, fixed rate, low fixed, low interest rate, and you know you get some tax deductions yeah. and i'm not going to go into that but it's if you're going to have debt it's the only thing that i would say usually is good debt yeah but and, and let's take a look at that if you take you know say you do do a cash out refinance where you pull some equity out pay off debt your payment roughly stays the same let's say well now you just freed up 500 to a thousand dollars in some cases yep. cases not everybody's going to make that much money or, or free up that much money on a month over month but now you can decide what do I, how do I want to build wealth? How do I want to use this money to my advantage to create the long term of, of wealth in general? Yep. You can talk to a CPA, you can talk to financial, financial advisor, advisor um, and they can help create that long term wise. Yeah, right? if it's for you or for your family or for a save it, you know, savings for your kids, education, yep. whatever it may be, let us help you kind of walk through that whole steps. You know, we look at things a little bit differently, and I think it just mortgage minds allow for us to take a look at something and, and think a little bit outside of the box. So a lot of times when we're talking to our clients and, and bringing situations like this, mm -hmm. hey, did you consider paying this off or doing a cash out? It's sometimes it's that yeah. light bulb moment that they have and they're like, well, I didn't even know that was an option. And you know, if it's not for you, at least we've educated you on that yeah. as an option. And sometimes you know, it's not right for everybody. No. It's just not, maybe timing's not right or the situation's not right. And you're like, no, nope, just don't want to do it. But so, at least you're educated about yeah, it. And you, you know, when you say sometimes it's not right, but man, it is, it is absolutely 100% right to have a conversation because for us to be able to go through it, you know, every, every, 
every individual that we deal with, every credit yep. report's different for us to go through it line by line and figure it all out and say, this is what we suggest. Now, again, many times it's just something that they never thought of on, on their own, but it, it, you know, knowing yeah. that it's available uh, will help them make a very informed and educated dis decision. Yep, absolutely. Don't forget guys, mortgages are complex. Let mortgage nerds give you the answers you need.